What is going on everybody? I go by the name of Curry and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. 1997 and 1998 were a historical time, not just in sports, but in sneakers. We saw the introduction of the WNBA. We also saw an interesting movie come out that's called He Got Game. And today we're here to talk about a shoe that blends those two things together. Without further ado, let's get into it. Today, we're talking about Air Jordan. We're talking about Air Jordan history and we're talking about the women's Air Jordan OG. But before we get into the sneaker, let's take a look inside of the box because there's something a little bit special in there. The exterior of the box, nothing really different there. All silver exterior here, red Jumpman on the top, looks exactly like those old school boxes back in the late 90s. But when you flip the lid on the box, you'll notice that there's a little envelope here. Inside of the envelope, there's a little card here with the Jumpman symbol with a bunch of W's all around it. Obviously, those W's mimic a specific detail on the sneakers we're gonna take a look at, but for now, really like how this was designed. I really like how it looks, love the colors. On the back of the card here, there's a really nice blurb talking about the sneaker in and of itself, what it was, what it meant to the game back in 1998 when it first debuted, and what it means to the game today, and how it's really designed to carry on the legacy that was started back in the late 90s. Boom. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Air Jordan Women's OG. That's the title of the entire sneaker, just the Women's Air Jordan OG. Of course, because this is the first Women's Air Jordan sneaker ever created for Jordan brand, specifically and exclusively for women. Little bit of backstory about the sneaker and everything crazy that was going on back in the day that surrounded this sneaker. And then we're gonna take a little bit deeper look at the shoe itself. So again, back in 1997, we saw the emergence of the WNBA, the Women's National Basketball Association. Now the deal was closed originally in April of 1996, but we actually didn't see the first on-court game until 1997. Now also in 1997, not only did we see the emergence of the WNBA, but we also saw the split from Nike and Jordan brand. In 1997, Jordan brand actually branched off to become a wholly owned subsidiary, but a separate company nonetheless, under Nike. As such, we saw the first few athletes that were brought onto the Jordan roster, like Ray Allen, for instance. And we also saw Michael Jordan and the Jordan brand team really excited about taking a new direction for Jordan brand and for the sneakers that would come out under Jordan brand. Now, as we all know, in 1997, there were some really hot, phenomenal women that were coming onto the scene for the WNBA, one of which was Cheryl Swoops. Now, for some reason, people tend to think that this is Cheryl Swoops' sneaker. It's not. If you guys remember, actually, Cheryl Swoops had a Nike deal and she had her own Air Swoop sneaker under Nike. However, since Jordan Brand was becoming its own company, I think they wanted to go in a direction that also maybe had a little bit of a battle with Nike as far as entering into the women's footwear space. Remember, Michael Jordan is that kind of guy where he's extremely competitive. And if he has this new company and he has a lot to prove with this new company, he may have wanted to go head to head against Nike. Now, during the time that this sneaker came out, the Air Jordan that actually came out and was the first Air Jordan that was brought out under Jordan brand, the company, was the Air Jordan 13. Of course, one of the OG colorways that dropped of the Jordan 13 was the He Got Game. Looks a lot like this one, doesn't it? So basically, they made a women's version of the He Got Game Jordan 13, featuring a lot of the same design details and even colorway as the original He Got Game. So basically, this became the little sister of the He Got Game Jordan 13. Let's take a little deeper look at the sneaker and some different details that we didn't necessarily see on its bigger brother. All right, starting with the upper of the sneaker here. Now, as you guys can see, little different design here. There's a little more going on than even on the Jordan 13 He Got Game. Obviously, the design cues and the materials are all the same. You have the dimpled, tumbled leather here, all in the quarter panels and wrapping around the back of the sneaker. However, on the women's Air Jordan OG, you actually see that dimpled leather pattern broken up by this breathable mesh Omega shaped material here. If you guys never realized that, like I said, the Omega shape here is actually made to look like the Greek letter Omega, which makes a lot of sense because Michael Jordan himself is a member of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated. So it only makes sense that he wanted to put a little stamp, something that has to do with Michael Jordan the man, even on the women's Air Jordan OG. Now that's accented by other hits of this really nice leather on the back panels of the sneaker and on the toe box of the shoe. You got that really dope black and white midsole with the little red Jumpman on the lateral side. A lot of people's favorite part of the sneaker here, the black stitched Jumpman on the heel of the sneaker and then right underneath that, the black stitched W for women's. Jordan brand wanted to make sure that it was very clear that this was a women's 
sneakers so that anytime you saw the women wearing it on the court, you saw them doing their thing out there on the court. If you saw them blow past all of the defense or the offense, whatever they were doing, you saw that big W in the back to let you know this was the women's Jordan. Personally, I think this was actually a little bit of a middle finger to Nike as well, letting everybody know over at Nike, this is our women's sneaker, just like you guys got your women's basketball shoes. On the top of the shoe here, you got a really nice white leather tongue here, black felt back on the tongue here with that really nice red stitched jump man right in the middle. Personally, I always love the outsole of the Air Jordan OG for women. You got the same herringbone traction as the Jordan 13, the men's version, and you have the same carbon fiber in the midfoot as well with that really nice red Jordan logo. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the shoes itself. Now, why do I feel like this is one of the better releases so far of 2020? I know we're only in January, but I really, really love the nostalgia and the history behind the sneaker. This sneaker, to my recollection, has actually never even retroed before. It's the first time the sneaker retroed in over 20 years. I think they picked a perfect time to bring this sneaker out because women's empowerment and women's representation in sneakers right now is at an all-time high. It's a part of the conversation. And like I said, there's really no better time to bring back what started it all as far as women in Jordan brand than to bring back the OG. This is actually setting the stage for what Jordan brand has cooking up for February and going through the rest of the year as far as their women's capsule collection that's coming up. Jordan brand has had an emphasis on women for the last year or two now and they've been coming out with some really really dope colorways exclusive colorways for women and while they've been coming out with a lot of the hyped up stuff for women like the blue chills the satin women's Jordans things of that nature it really is dope that they actually took a moment to look back to the past. Now, the other thing that I really like about this sneaker is they didn't make too many of them. This sneaker sold out almost instantly on the sneakers that when it dropped, there was a lot of hype behind it. Tiana Taylor rocked these when she gave us some promo shots on Instagram for the upcoming capsule collection. There were actually a good amount of women that were seated this shoe as well, or given this shoe, sent this shoe, gifted this shoe, whatever you want to call it from Jordan brand. They got this sneaker for free. But again, even when the sneakers dropped, they weren't available everywhere. They didn't make a ton of them, but they made just enough of them to wet everybody's palate to make sure that they got a pair if you wanted them. I think that they need to take a hint with this one for future releases as far as allocation because there weren't too many, but there weren't too few. Personally, I'm excited to see what's next for Jordan brand this year. They have the Air Jordan Women's One that's getting ready to come out. Really, really nice, all black with a hit of red and blue in it. Again, they have the capsule collection that's getting ready to come out. Jumpsuits, a lot of athletic apparel. There's some really dope stuff that Jordan brand has coming down the pipeline for women. I can't wait to see what they got cooked up. But in the meantime, let me know what you guys think about the Air Jordan Women's OG. Was this one that you guys were able to get your hands on if you were trying to get a pair? If you are a female, did you want to get your hands on these? Do you remember these back in the 90s? Did you rock them back in the 90s? Are you an OG? Or are you feeling them here in 2020? Are you new to the game? If you're a man, would you rock these even though they've got the big W on the back of them? Were you still trying to rock these sneakers? I know personally, a lot of guys wanted to get their size in the shoe, but this shoe apparently only went up to, I believe, a size 11 or 12. They didn't go all the way up in sizes like some women's extended size sneakers do. I really think Jordan was trying to hold this one just for the women. But whatever your take is of them, sound off down below in the comments, let me know. Of course, while you're down in the comments, make sure that you click on that subscribe button so we and welcome you into the sneaker fetish family to make sure you don't miss out on any more heat that comes through like these because i guarantee you i got a lot more heat on the way as always i want to thank you guys for joining me here today on sneaker fetish taking a look at these with me unboxing it with me for a couple of minutes i go by the name of kari this is the women's air jordan og and until next time i'm out